Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, no, let's not do that. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ines Leia, and welcome to the CraterGalaxy.com space station. Here in space, we are experimenting with intergalactic filmmaking skills and visual effects. If you're interested in our upcoming videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. All right, so in today's video, we're going to see something pretty cool. We've all seen the clone effect on a steady tripod shot where a person stays duplicated behind the movements he makes, which is fairly simple to create. But in this video, we're going to see how to achieve this exact same look with a 3D parallax to it to make it look even more stunning. Before we start this video, I would quickly want to mention today's video span Spencer. Today's video Spencer is Ben Q. Before we start this video, I quickly want to show you today's before we start this video, I quickly want to mention you the... I lost it. I'm, I'm lost. Sorry. More editing for Enzo. Okay. Before we start today's video, I quickly want to mention today's video sponsor, BenQ. BenQ sent me the Screen Bar Plus e-reading lamp. Have you ever wondered how many hours each day you stare at a computer screen or a mobile device? But these may potentially cause harm to our eyes if done with inefficient lighting. We've all tried working late hours, watching online tutorials, Ovinia's Lea and so on at night, but a good desk light will help you to increase your productivity and enjoyment while preventing eye strains and dry eyes. BenQ Screen Bar Plus e-reading lamp is the world's first lamp that is specifically designed for digital screen time. From long working hours in front of computers to Netflix and chilling, this lamp fits perfectly within our day-to-day -day situation where the lighting is key. A sensor in the desktop dial of the Screen Bar Plus adjusts the brightness level automatically, but you can adjust the brightness and the color temperature through the desktop dial manually. If you want to find out more about this desk lamp, which I personally use, definitely check out the link in the description below. All right, so back to the video. So what do we need in order to create this effect? It looks more awesome if you have a cameraman filming you from the side. This way you can create some parallax effects in the background. If you want to follow this tutorial with the exact same footage as me, that's also possible. I'll put a link in the description below. Import your clip and script to the moment where you are in the air or where you want to freeze your clip. Make a marker by clicking on the asterisk button on your keyboard and then next duplicate your shot twice as we have two jumps. And if you have more, of course, you will need to adjust your duplications accordingly. Disable the top duplication as we want to focus on the first one for now. Script to the correct timing and then right click on this layer, go to time and freeze the frame. You can enable the second layer as well, go to the correct timing and then just repeat this process to freeze the frame and then again we are going to disable it and focus on the first shot. Now mask out yourself with the mask tool, try to do this as good as possible. Once you're done, you can press F on the keyboard to feather your mask a tiny bit, like 1.5 or something, to soften the edges a little bit. And then we are going to trim our layer to the marker. Now let's click on our original layer and then add the Mocha AE effect to it. Make sure you are at the correct timing of your clip at the marker and then open up Mocha AE window. Now select a part of the floor, but make sure you won't get into that part or that area and then also check the perspective before tracking and then we'll hit the track backwards button. We don't need to track it forwards as we are going to cut this layer when we jump over it. Once it's done and the track went successful, you can close Mocha AE, it will ask you to save it, so save it and then go into the tracking data tab. Here click on the create track data button, check the gear icon and click on the layer and then press OK, otherwise it won't work. Switch the export option to transform and now we want to create a new null object in our scene. Rename it to shot01 or something like that and then select the null in the Mocha AE settings for the layer to export to. That will export the tracking data to our null and then now we want to make sure you are at the correct timing again of the marker and then parent the masked out frozen layer to the null we just created. Press S on the keyboard with the null layer selected and click on the stopwatch for the scale to delete this data. We don't want to scale our layer. And now you should have something like this. Now 
Now go to your other shots marker, click on the original footage and reset the Mocha AE effect so we can start over with this shot. Open Mocha AE again and choose the area you want to track here again. Track it backwards, as this is a longer shot, we can pause our track and then move our tracking region to the left so it's not going out of the shot and then Mocha will use this data to create our one tracking null. Again, once you are done, close Mocha AE and then make another null object. Go to the Create Track Data for Mocha, check the gear icon again, select the layer again and press OK again, then apply the export to the correct new null object again. Make sure you are at the correct timing and parent the clip to the null. Delete the scale keyframes of the null again and then once your shot is out of the frame, trim it because otherwise you might encounter some artifacts. And voila, there we have it, our awesome effect. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video also, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay notified when we upload new videos and also check out our website we have a bunch to offer for any kind of digital creative and if you buy something from our website it helps to support this channel hope to see you in the next one take care and goodbye